أحمد هو أوصل لي على رسول الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وأصلي على رسول الكريم Today I want to talk about a very important topic that is important for Muslims to understand and internalize and that is the subject of power power and its causes and the Islamic attitude towards this subject. The Quranic term that everyone should understand in regards to power is the word taqwa. Taqwa is the belief that you believe that if you do something wrong or that if someone else does something wrong, if the husband does something wrong to the wife or the parents do something wrong to the children or if the the people in authority do something wrong to their subjects or if anyone does anything wrong to someone that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the ability to respond whether he will respond in this life or the next life he will respond he may respond with forgiveness he may respond with justice but taqwa is the knowledge and the recognition that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely going to respond. And to know this and to protect yourself from that situation where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding to you with something other than forgiveness. This is one level of being aware of power. Then let's come to a narration of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we will look at one verse of the Qur'an in regards to what the Prophet's attitude was to the idea of a believer. And what does it mean to be strong? And why should someone be strong? So the Prophet wasallam, in order to encourage strength and to give us its definite attitude, the Prophet said wasallam. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن قوي خير a believer who is strong خير is better وأحب إلى الله and is more beloved to Allah let me repeat المؤمن قوي خير a believer who is strong is better. A mu'min who is strong is better and ahabbu ilallah is more beloved to Allah min al mu'minin min, min mu'min al da'if. Then the mu'min who is weak. But wa fi kulli khayr, there's good in both. But the mu'min who is strong is better. Who is the mu'min that is strong? We will discuss this in a second. Al-mu'minu, al-mu'minu al-qawiyu khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allah. A mu'min who is strong is better and more beloved to Allah. Min al-mu'min, min al-mu'min al-da'if. Then the mu'min who is weak, wa fi kulli khayrun, and there's good in both. Ihris ala ma yanfa'uka, be eager for what benefits you, meaning what in the context of the narration, be eager to benefit yourself with power. Wasta'in billah, and know that the real power is the power of Allah and seek Allah's help. Like, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمَ Guide us to the path of the believers. Right? So the jama'ah of the believers. Sirat الَّذِينَ نَمْتَ عَلِيمَ The path of those whom you have favored. O oh Allah, guide us to the like-minded people. O oh Allah, guide us and make us strong through the like-minded people that come together that you have blessed. 
This will become more clear as I talk about this narration with one specific verse of the Quran. So the Prophet said, Al-Mu'minu al-Qawiyyu khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allah min al-Mu'min al-Da'ifi wa fi kulli khayn. Ihris ma ala ma yanfa'uka wa sta'in billah. Hurry up to what benefits you in attaining power. And what is the thing that benefits the believer to attain power? There are many ahadiths on this. The first thing that benefits Imam Baghdadi in his Kitab Talbis Iblis, the first chapter, talks about this also. The first thing that benefits a believer against shaitan and against being weak and to have a strong environment and where he's strong mentally and physically is to be in a jama'ah, is to be with the like-minded people. So you say, Oh Allah, we want to do your ibadah and we want your help and we want to do your be loyal to you. And then what? Guide us to the straight path. And who will you find on the straight path? You will find those that Allah has blessed. You will find those that are like-minded like you. This will become clear in a second. And seek help from Allah. And don't be ajiz. Don't feel like you are incapable of doing anything. So even if you're weak, you're not allowed to be mentally weak. وَلَا تَعْجَزْ فَإِنْ أَصَابَكَ شَيْءٌ If some difficulty comes upon you, فَلَا تَقُلْ Then don't say, لَوْ أَنَا فَعَلْتُ كَذَا وَكَذَا If I had done this and I had done this. Don't fall into the past. Don't be victimized by the past. Look to the future. If something evil falls on you, some difficulty falls on you, don't be dis in a state of despair. That if I had done this and I had done this, no. وَلَكِنْ قُلْ But say, if something difficult has come upon you and come upon the believers, قُلْ قَدَرَ اللَّهُ مَا شَعَ وَفَعَلَ Say whatever Allah has decreed and Allah has done whatever He has decreed. That should be, that's the strong mentality. Okay, whatever Allah wanted happened. But let's look to the future. فَإِنَّ لَوْ What if, and what if, the what لَوْ If this, and if that, and if this, and if that. What, فَإِنَّ لَوْ تَفْتَهُ أَمَلُ الشَّيْطَانِ The question of if, if I had done this, and if I had done this, and if, لَوْ can also kind of mean why. Also, so why and if if we ask these questions, this is going to open the door. This is from it'll open the amal of shaytan, the actions of shaytan. So, <coughs> it is on the believers to be strong. Now, the Quran tells us something very important in this regard, and there's good news in this. In Surah Al-Hadid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something very, very important for people who understand the, what? Who understand the importance of power and its causes. First of all, let me share this with you. Then I'm going to share something from Surah Al-Kahf with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim he says, وَمَا لَكُمْ أَلَّا تُنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ what is wrong with you that you don't spend in the cause of Allah? وَلِلَّهِ مِرَاثُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ For Allah is the heavens and the earth. You can't give something for His cause. وَلَا يَسْتَوِي مِنْكُمْ مَنْ أَنْفَقَ مِنْ قَبْلِ الْفَطْحِ وَقَاتَلِ Those of you that will spend and spend time and energy and motivated as pioneers of the last shower of the Ummah, those that will spend their energy and their time when things were hopeless, those who will spend before the victory, those who will spend their energy and their time and their money before the victory, will be in higher ranks than, than the ones who come after the victory. And so, 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us amongst those people who spend time and energy to attain whatever we can of the, of, to get near to that final victory, to get near to that final jama'ah, to get near to that hijrah, to get near to that situation that will give us victory. La yastawi minkum. You are not equal, those of you. Just as the strong believer is not equal to the weak believer. And the strong believer is more beloved to Allah and is better to Allah in the sight of Allah than the weak believer. لا يستوي منكم Not equal are you those who spend and fight before the victory. أُولَئِكَ أَعْظَمُ دَرَجَةً They have a much higher rank. مِنَ الَّذِينَ أَنْفَقُوا مِنْ بَعْضُ وَقَاتِلُ than those who fight and spend afterwards. كُلُّ وَعْدُ اللَّهِ husna. But the promise of Allah is good with them. There's good with both of them. But, but, وَكُلُّ وَعْدُ اللَّهِ Allah has made a good promise to both of them. Those who accept Islam after the victory, those who accept Islam and struggle for Islam before the victory, but they're not equal. وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fully is fully aware of whatever you are doing. Okay, If you are able to be of those people that spend their time and their money and their energy before the victory, for the victory, before the victory, for the victory, before the victory, and then those that will enter into Islam in crowds after the victory, they're not equal. They're not equal. And so we find what? We find that the similar words are used in Surah Al-Kahf. Okay? What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about power and its causes? For Zul Qarnain, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first gives us a, an example of people that do hijrah. These seven sleepers who gave go to the cave. And then there's the example of Zulqarnain. And he had resources. فَأَتْبَعَ سَبَبَ فَأَتْبَعَ سَبَبَ فَأَتْبَعَ سَبَبَ Three times Allah says, and he followed the asbab. He followed the causes. He followed the, the, the sabab, the cause of things. Because he had the resources. And then Allah gave him victory. And those people who do hijrah and who spend time before the victory and those who come after the victory are not equal. And the one, the believer that is stronger is better than the weak believer that is weak. Now you tell me, what is the sunnah method to get victory? And what is the sunnah method to get power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the surah called the victory. Surah Al-Fatih. Yadullahi fawqa aydihim. That the way to get victory and the way to become stronger mentally and physically is to be with the like-minded people. Is to be in a jama'ah. This is the only way of the end times. And let me share with you what the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about this. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it has been narrated by Hudayfa bin Yaman. He says, Hudayfa bin Yaman says, I don't want to explain this hadith in detail, just some parts I will explain. He says, يَقُولُ كَانَ النَّاسِ يَسْأَلُونَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الخير. The people used to ask the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم of the good things. وَكُنْتُ أَسْأَلُهُ عَنِ الشَّرْ And I used to ask him of the evil things, like the evil things that would come upon the Ummah. مَخَافَةَ أَنْ يُدْرِكَنِي Fear from it would overtake me. فَقُلْتُ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ So he said, O Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, إِنَّا كُنَّا فِي جَاهِلِيَةِ We were in jahiliya. Was shar and evil. فَجَاءَنَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا الْخَيْرِ 
and Allah brought us this good, meaning the good of Islam. فَهَلْ بَعْدَ هَذَا الْخَيْرِ مِنْ شَرْ Is there any evil after this, after this good? قَالَ نَعْمْ He said, yes. قُلْتُ So I said, oh. وَهَلْ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ شَرْ مِنْ خَيْرِ Is there any good after that evil? He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, نَعْمْ وَفِهِ دَخْنٌ Yes. And it will be tainted. So there's evil. And then after that, there will be good that's mixed good. It's not totally good. It has problems. He said, what will be its taint? Okay. And then he said, Qawmun, people, yahduna bi ghayri hadi. There will be people calling towards something other than my guidance. Ta'arifu minhum wa tunkar. Some of the things you will recognize of the good it has, but you will also dislike. You would dis you would dislike some of the evil things. فَقُلْتُ هَلْ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ الْخَيْرِ مِنْ شَرْ So this tainted good that has evil and good, is there any evil after that? قُلْ نَعْم Now I want you to think of the Halloween party. نَعْم Yes. And when the Prophet was talking about a tainted good, so there was the good from the Prophet to 30 years of the Khilafah until the Khilafah of Hassan رضي الله عنهم all of them, and then the the there was shar in a sense that there was the Muslim civil war, and then from there there was a, a tainted good that started, which was the kingships, right? So you had the Umayyad, you had the Abbasids, you had the Ottoman Khilafah, you had the Mughal Empire. There was some good in it, and there was some evil in it, but after this will be something even worse. And so the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Naam. دَعَاتٌ إِلَىٰ أَبْوَابِ جَهَنَّمِ There will be people, by the way, this hadith is in Sayyid Bukhari, it's an authentic narration. دَعَاتٌ إِلَىٰ أَبْوَابِ جَهَنَّمِ There will be people calling to the doors of the hellfire. This Halloween party, for example. مَنْ أَجَابَهُمْ إِلَيْهَا فَقَذَفُوهُ فِيهَا Whoever responds to them will be thrown in it. فَقُلْتُ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ at that time, when there will be so much evil, and you can now consider, Muslims will be weak. That's how Islam became weak. Qultu ya Rasulullah, sifhum lana. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, can you describe these people to us? Hum mil jindatuna. They're from our skin, the Prophet said this. They're from our skin, meaning the Arabs. Wat yatukallamuna bi al-sinatina. And they talk with our language. فَقُلْتُ مَا تَعْمُرُنِي إِنْ أَدْرَكَنِي ذَلِكُ What do you command me to do in a time like that? إِلْتَزِمْ الْجَمَاعَةَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَإِمَامُهُمْ Be with the jama'ah of the muslimin and their imam. What is the job of this, of this jama'ah? What is the job of this imam? It is to lead them to the ways that will bring Muslims victory. It is to lead them into the ways that will bring them power. It is to lead them into the ways that will protect them and be a shelter for them and be a fortress for them. Qultu, and he said, Hudayfa radiyallahu anhu, he said, he asked the Prophet, فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ لَهُمْ جَمْعَةُ لَا إِمَامُ What if I, there's no jama'ah to be in and there's no imam to be with? قَالَ اِعْتَزِلْ تِلْكَ الْفِرَقْ then leave all, leave all the groups, leave everything. If they're not in the form of a jama'ah, leave them. Kulluha, all of it. وَلَوْ أَن تَعَدَّ بِأَصْلِ الشَّجَرِ حَدَّ يُدْرِكَ الْمَوْتُ وَأَنْتَ عَلَى ذَلِكُ Then separate yourself and be alone rather than be with the shar. Be alone, then be with the evil. And eat from the roots of the tree. Leave that land of shar. And go and eat from the roots of the tree until you die upon it. So, what is the attitude of the mu'min when it comes to power? Let me repeat what the Prophet said, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, very quickly. He said, "Al-mu'minu qawiyu," the strong believer. How does a believer become strong? He becomes strong. You can be. You can. You can work out all you want. You can work out all you do. You'll still never be stronger than 10 believers sitting together. 
المؤمن قوي خير وأحب إلى الله. More beloved to Allah is the strong believer because whoever comes together with brothers for the sake there's so many so many rewards in coming together. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa taala will call upon people on the day of judgment. Aina yatahabu nadi jalali. Where are those people who came together for my glory? Where are those people who came together for my glory? So, to be alone versus being in a jama'ah, you are stronger being in a jama'ah. Al-mu'minu qawiyun khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allahi min al-mu'min al-da'if. The Prophet is not telling people over here that what? That you should start, uh, you know, become like the one who has more muscles is the one who is closer to Allah. It, that is part of it, but that's not the main message. The main message is power and its causes. And the jama'ah is its number one cause. And number two, don't be psychologically weak. Al-mu'minu qawiyu khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allahi min al-mu'min al-da'if. A strong believer is better than a weak believer. And in that ayah that we just said, Allah's husna. Allah's promise is good with both of them. And over here, and there's good in both. But be haste in what benefits you. And seek help from Allah. And don't be feeling that you are. Uh, you're incompetent. Don't feel incompetent. Because you have Allah on your side. Why should you feel incompetent? Don't feel ajis. And if something comes upon you that's difficult, don't say, if I had done this and I had done this. This is not the people of the, the attitude of the people of the jama'ah. This was not the attitude of the jama'ah of the Prophet. No matter what difficulty befell upon them. But say, when difficulty comes, say what? Qadar Allah, whatever Allah has decreed. And whatever He pleased, He did. If you say, if this and if that and why this and why that, it opens the doors for the actions of shaytan. This is amongst the actions of shaytan. Now again, وَمَا لَكُمْ أَلَّا تُنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ You have a chance and I have a chance to do something before the victory, to be the pioneers of the early shower. So why should we not spend on those ways that will bring about that victory, will bring awareness to that victory? So how can you do that? Well, one way to do that is to support people like myself and others who are doing good job, who are doing the work of the deen. And like if you take my videos, have other people subscribe it, to share it with them, to share the ideas with them, to ask how can I help? What do you need research in? What can I do to help? You know, there's so much work that needs to be done. Everyone could be doing something before the victory to help the victory come about. Everyone in the ummah needs to be aware of the situation and wake up the people that are not woken up. Okay, what else can you do? You can learn knowledge, learn the Quran, get into the proper habits, help the ummah by saying adhkar and reading Quran, finishing the Quran every month. Doing salawat on the Prophet, doing adhkar, doing dua for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. وَمَا لَكُمْ لَا تُنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ What is wrong with you that you don't spend in the cause of Allah? وَلِلَّهِ مِرَاثُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And for Allah is the is the is the inheritance of everything in the heavens and the earth. لا يستوي منكم من أنفق من قبل الفتح وقاتل Those of you who who spend at a time where things look bleak, when no victory was in sight. And at that time you gave your time and your energy and yourself are not equal to those who come into the fold of Islam after the victory. They have a much higher degree in front of Allah. Than those that spend 
min ba'du after the victory wa qatalu and fight after the victory wa kullu wa'da Allah al husna of course the promise of Allah with everyone is good and this is up to Allah who will be those people who will spend time and energy before the victory and who will spend time and energy after the victory this is in Allah it's in his decree reach each according to their capacity each according to their fikr their worry their concern wa kullu wa'da Allah al husna wallahu bima ta'maluna khabir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fully knows what you are doing then last thing i want to show you again in if that situation comes up where the arabs themselves have started calling to the people of have become are standing at the doors of the hellfire and calling people to it when the arabs those who speak our language the prophet said and they are from our skin and they speak our language and they're calling at the doors of the hell what to do at that time please look at the halloween scenes look at the tall buildings in mecca look at the clock tower <coughs> what is all that calling to qultu ya rasulullah sif hum lana please describe them to us o prophet of allah hum min jildatuna they're from our skin we love the arabs because the prophet was an arab and we love the arabs because the sahaba were arabs but at this time they have lost their path yatakallamuna bi alsinatina and they will talk with our language the prophet said kuntu ma ta'muruni in adrakani dhalik what do you command me to do when such a situation occurs qala iltazim jama'a almuslimin be with the jama'a of the muslimin wa imamuhum and their imam qultu in lam takun lahum jama'a what if there's no jama'a wala imam and there's no imam to be with qala i'tazil tilka alfiraq kulluha leave all of the groups leave them all and then go outside the city and eat from the roots of the tree until you die on that at that time that is what the prophet is telling us the prophet is telling us how to attain power in the end of times be with the jama a strong a believer who is in a jama is stronger than the believer who's not in a jama mentally emotionally physically in every single way because if you have brothers to hold you up and brothers to give you an environment where you meet them every day and spend time with them every day and you're learning every day and you're seeking protection with them with, from Allah every day you're doing azkar every day right you're learning Quran every day you create an environment like that and you get ready for hijrah and you have a hijrah plan outside the city and you have a hijra plan of where you want to go so hijra plan a and hijra plan b so this you must do waking muslims up to do this at this time is becoming very 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 important because we don't have only allah knows how much time we have but you know 20 years even 20 years is a very little amount of time you know and so start waking up the muslims please start sharing with the muslims please start supporting the causes that you think that will benefit you before the victory that are part of that victory that are going to lead to that victory those people who are intelligent enough to look at western ideas and what and do a critique of western ideology modern western ideology number 1 those people that are able to write that are able to guide you to the quran those people that are guiding you to the quran support them those people who are imam the job of the imam is to show you where the wolves are so before it comes to the sheep those people who are able to point to the wrongs of the evils of that society before it captures the sheep okay those people who bring people to to, to the true traditional islam the true traditional islam those people those people who help decolonize the muslim minds 
those people who call towards Khilafa to the establishment of Allah's deen, to the, estab- to the bringing about of victory of the truth. Those people who call towards the Muslims to wake up and to purify their hearts and to become less attached to dunya by which then you can't see what's happening in the world. You're so close to dunya, you can't see what is happening at the big picture. What the big picture is. You're so close to dunya, you can't see what's really happening. So support those people. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me and you of those people. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts it in your heart, then also support me and the others who are doing what needs to be done in these end times that will lead Muslims to the causes of power and power and victory. And if we do that, if we establish our jamaas, if we get ready our part, if we do our part, then Allah will open doors for us. And one of the doors that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open for us is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring down everything at a plain level. When the economies finally fall and we were ready with the jama'ah, then Allah's help will come to us because we will be in the form of a jama'ah. Yadullahi fawq al jama'ah. So, aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-muslimina wal-muslimat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.